Howdy, everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful morning here in Minnesota. Today I'm out here at one of my favorite spots to head out with the kayak and chase some smallies around. And I have a really interesting lure we're going to try to catch a few on today. A lure that was made by and sent to me from a fan of my channel. And he actually sent me several lures. There's one in particular I have in mind to try today. But we'll read the note he sent along with him real quick. Dear ND Yak Angler, I enjoy making lures, but won't be able to cut them loose myself for quite a while. I hope they serve you well and make for some good content. Don't worry about losing them. It's what they're made for. Sincerely, Carbite. So the one I have in mind to try out here today is this one. So we'll take a look at what we've got here. And it is a really cool bottle cork frog popper. I just love the texture of the paint on that cork underneath the clear coat there. It looks almost just like real frog skin. So that is a sweet looking lure. I can't wait to give it a try out here. He included a note along with each of the lures too, so we'll give the one a quick read. That was with the popper here. A cork is both a natural shape for a popper and a free texture under the paint. You shouldn't have to worry about pulling it apart. It's a through wire construction. So that's pretty cool. I think this lure should work really well out here too. I've been seeing a ton of frogs along the banks and shorelines pretty much everywhere I've been fishing lately. And the water is moderately high out here right now where we should have some smallies tucked right up along the bank in the types of spots where if you throw something like this in front of their ambush spot, you'll get a quick reaction strike out of them. So that's what I'm hoping for today. I'm gonna to keep paddling my way up to the river. We'll throw that bottle cork popper around and see if we can hook into a few big smallies. I know I said I was gonna paddle up to the river there, but we've got to give this point a couple of casts. There'll usually be a smallie or two hanging out up here. Look at that. The very first cast. Oh, he shook it. I had him <laughs> for a few seconds. It's got a nice little pop to it. Oh, darn it. <laughs> First one of the day, shug it. That's all right, though. I'm sure we'll get that lure in front of plenty of fish today. That was a decent fish though. I don't know, I wonder if they're off the reservoir points back here. Oh, there's another one. I don't think I got the strike on film, but it didn't sound like he hit it real hard. Feels like a really nice fish though. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, nice. All right, now I don't feel so bad about that one that just shook it, because it looks like about the same size fish. It might even be the same one again. All right, first one of the day on that frog popper. Man, that's a quality smallie too. Probably good 17 and a half, maybe pushing 18 inches. We'll toss them on the measuring board. 18 on the dot. Well, that's a great way to start the day. So this point right here is what I consider to be the start of the river. It gets a little bit more narrow here. The current is a little bit more noticeable. 
And there will usually be some fish tucked right up underneath that bank there. A little bit of hollow space underneath that grass. That one came out and absolutely crushed it. It pulled me that way, away from your buddies. <laughs> I feel kind of naked. I don't have my power pole anchor with today, so I can't drop my anchor and stop my drift here. Come here, you. Look at that. Second fish of the day on that bottle cork popper. That's a beauty of a smallie. Yeah, that one was tucked right up underneath that grassy bank over there. Just like I was saying, as soon as I threw that popper, I saw the wake coming toward it and knew I better hold on to my rod because this guy was coming for my lure. That's yeah, a nice one. About the same size as that first fish of the morning. Show you guys where those fish hang out. See, there's all kinds of space underneath that grass for those bass to tuck themselves in there. A bunch of minnows swimming by here for them to jump out and munch on for breakfast. There's one. Holy jeez, that guy just jumped about four feet into the air. <laughs> oh man, I just love fishing smallmouth. Oh. Look at this guy, he is furious. I'm kind of afraid to even try to grab him. Just T-boned that bottle cork popper. Nice chunky little guy. Third quality fish of the day. We'll keep fishing our way up the river here and see if we can find a few more. There's a big one. Keep them out of those sticks. <sighs> Come here, you. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Luckily, he's a jumpy one. He jumped right over those sticks, I think. Yeah. You done? Just 
Gotta make sure I'm not gonna float into anything here. Look at that, fourth nice fish of the day on that bottle cork popper. Yeah, no hesitation out of that one. He jumped out and slammed that lure. It's about 17 and 3 eighths. Quality fish. Whole bunch of water bugs over here. I was kind of thinking we might find a smallie hanging out right underneath them, but I didn't see one. That's all right though. There'll usually be a couple hanging out along this stretch of grassy bank ahead of me here. There's one. I saw him come out and look at it. I wasn't sure if he was gonna hit it or not. He gave it one little twitch there and he decided, yeah, it's breakfast time. Especially this is so ornery today. Grab that hook before he pokes me with one of them. There we go. Nice little smallie. Man, it's been just awesome out here this morning. It's really hard to beat a day out here on the river. Top water fishing for smallmouth bass. Pretty good way to spend the day. Yeah, so far that lure is holding up great. No damage or anything. Eh, maybe a couple little paint chips. The only issue I've had with it so far is those two hooks I like to catch every now and then, but it hasn't really been a big deal. The smallies seem to be liking it. There's one. Oh man, they are jumpy today, aren't they? Just a little guy, but geez, he jumped about three feet in the air there. Come here, little buddy. Not a bad little fish, but I'm after the bigger ones today. Saw a couple other big ones right along this grassy bank. They weren't too interested in that topwater lure. I actually threw my Nico craw at them too, and they wouldn't go for that either. So some of these fish are a little bit picky out here today. Not all of them are going to be willing to hit the topwater. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there. Just trying to swim right back underneath that grass. <laughs> you come back here. Now we're going to take a quick look at you. Jeez, he inhaled that thing. beast of a smallie. He's got a blind eye there too. Kind of a mean looking sucker. We'll get a measure on that one. That might be the biggest one of the day so far. Eh, maybe by a hair. It's about 18 and an eighth. Nice fish though. That one jumped out from right underneath this grassy bank. Slammed that popper. Man, that's fun. Oh, here 
Here comes one. Oh, we missed it. Saw the wake come off the bank there, though. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I didn't go for it, though. There's a quick reaction strike. Oh, yeah, that's a big one, too. Maybe not a monster. Yeah, they look huge when they jump about 50 feet up ahead of you. Ah, come here, buddy. Jeez, these fish are ferocious today. All right, none of that funny business now. Yeah, they're definitely hitting that lure like they mean it. Hey, there's a boulder there. Cool, that'll stop my drift. There we go. Man, we're hammering them out here today. It's going toward my lure there, but he swam right past it. I'm gonna throw my Nico craw in front of that one. It's getting to be that time of morning where the topwater bite might be about done for the day. We'll see if this one will eat the craw. Yep. Whoa. As <laughs> well. All right then, the guy tried to jump right into the kayak with me and he shook my craw. Yeah, I think we might just be getting into that time of day where the topwater bite is about done for the afternoon. I've had a few fish, like that last one, the last half hour or so, where I know I threw that topwater lure in front of them, but they just didn't show much interest in it. But it's been an awesome morning out here. We caught a whole bunch of really nice mollies with that homemade cork frog popper. So big thanks to Carbite for making that lure and sending it to me to try. I gotta say, it did a great job. The lure held up really well to a morning of river abuse and several really nice fish. And all in all, it was just a fun lure to fish. So I had a blast out here catching smallies this morning on that frog popper. I hope the rest of you enjoyed the morning out here in the kayak with me. That's gonna do it for today's trip. It's about that time for me to paddle back down the river to my truck. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time. <laughs>